this morning, being that it's a day of prayer and fasting for our team, I was thinking, let's get in the right mindset. So I want you and I today to get into the king's mindset. When we approach the Lord, approach the Lord with a king's mindset. What I, wanna, what I mean with that is if you look at 1 Kings chapter 3. Now, a king's mindset is very different to a non-king's mindset. Because what does a king have in terms of responsibility? The future. His subjects. His responsibility is not to himself, but for his people. A king asks in line, not for himself, but for how he can govern and move forward, ensure the safety, the joy, the prosperity of his people, right? That's how a king thinks. Well, you and I are both kings and priests in the Lord. So as we pray today during fasting, we're saying to the Lord, we are setting ourselves apart and we are serious. We'll subdue this flesh so that we can hear you with our spiritual ears. Every time the hunger pain hits you today, I want you to pray and think big like a king. Now let's read this real quick and then we're going to get into prayer. Solomon's Prayer for Wisdom, chapter 3, right? 1 Kings chapter 3. And verse 4, let's start there. And the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for that was the great high place. Solomon used to offer a thousand burnt offerings on that altar. So Solomon went to a place that he regularly went to meet with God, to sacrifice, like we watched yesterday in the war room. He had a place that he went to, and he knew he was going to meet with his Lord, right? So he went to that place. Why? because he meant to do business. So know where you're going today. Today we're doing business. This is the most important business that we have to do. The battle is won in our prayers, right? Behind closed doors, just like the war room. We have a war house today, right? So he says this, at Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon. This is verse five, in a dream by night. And God said, ask what I shall give you. The Lord, is, isn't that powerful? As we enter today, God is saying, ask me what I shall give you. And the Lord was trying to find out what was in the king's heart. Isn't that amazing? So as we enter today, understand that the Lord is asking you and I, ask me. Don't approach thinking, is he here? Has he even invited me in? He's saying, no, no, son, daughter, ask me. That blows my mind. So with that in mind, I want to talk about real quickly about how to ask with the right mindset, the king's mindset. Ask in line as a king, not as a beggar, but as a son and a daughter of the living God. Okay? And so, in verse 8, let's jump to that. And your servant is in the midst of your people whom you have chosen, a great people. Too many to be numbered or counted for a multitude. Verse 9, give your servant, therefore, an understanding mind to govern your people, that I may discern between good and evil. For who is able to govern this, your great people? Wow. So Solomon immediately, as soon as God said, ask me, he asked not for what he needed, but he asked for his people. So today, ask and pray big. Solomon knew how to do things big. He rose big and he crashed big. He just knew how to do things in a big way. He learned that from his father, David. Right? So today, I want to encourage us. Pray big. Don't pray with your experiences or pray in line with the failures or the fears. Don't pray in line with man. Pray in line as a king today in line with the vision God has given Rosie often says this that God showed her said don't pray in line with your need with your perception of what your need is but pray in line with vision. the vision that God has given you pray big right 
And then verse 10, this is how the Lord responds with this mindset and heart set. It pleased the Lord. You want to please God today? Pray big. Pray in line as a king. You want to please him? Pray and think big. It pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this, and God said to him, Because you have asked this and have not asked for yourself long life or riches or the life of your enemies, right? Save me from short-term problems. I have this enemy. I need to get past this next hurdle. He said, you didn't, even, you didn't even look at those things. You prayed in line with something much bigger, in line with my vision, what I've called you into, right? But have asked for yourself understanding to discern what is right. In other translations, it's, it's wisdom, an understanding heart, right? To discern what's right. Righteousness doesn't come. What's right doesn't come from your mind. It comes from your heart. So to know what's right comes from the heart, an understanding heart. And this pleased the Lord. And this is amazing. Behold, I now do according to your word. God will do according to what you ask. Good night. That's amazing. You want to please God and you want him to do according to your word? This is the way to do it. Behold, I give you a wise and discerning mind, so that none like you has been before you, and none like you shall rise after you. And then this is the icing on the cake, you know, when you add something. When you live righteously before the Lord, when you put others before yourself, when you ask in line with the big picture, not the small picture. And when you ask not for yourself, the fruit of that is going to be this. Verse 13, I give you also what you have not asked. Which is what? Both riches and honor. The extras. The fruit. So that no other king shall compare with you all your days. And if you will walk in my ways, keeping my statutes and my commandments, as your father David walked, then I will lengthen your days. Not only will you have all of this, but I'm going to let you have it and use it for a long time. Not for short term, but lengthened days. So today, as we pray, as we seek God, ask not in line with your own perceived needs. Don't ask for yourself. Ask for what God has given you charge over, for whom and for what. Remember, that's how we started. To be faithful and loyal to those things that God has called you who and to what. Ask for them. Ask for that. Ask for the big picture. Ask for the city. Ask for the nation. Ask for your family, not for yourself, what you need. Don't ask that I need something in my life. Therefore, I ask about no. Ask like a king. God has said, you will go and subdue the land. You have a place today. Wow. So guys, as we enter in, that's my charge today. Be like this dude. Ask big. Think big in line with Christ and don't think for yourself. Because the dividends are going to be fantastic anyway. The overflow of that, God will say, just, and because you didn't even worry about your perceived need, here it is. And God is waiting right now as we enter prayer and fasting. Isn't that cool? So let's get into it. Let's do it.